But so the news is, of course, the RNC is going on today's day for Make America Great once again. But you saw that split screen that we opened our program with. While, while you see the swagger screen right of Donald Trump screen left, you've got Joe Biden who is struggling in Las Vegas to make it up those 15 stairs. He's got COVID. The baby stairs. Van Jones over on CNN perfectly summarized what we're looking at right there and what has happened over the last 80 hours. Today is a terrible day. Uh, if, you, if you just, if you pull back and look at this thing, strength versus weakness, a bullet couldn't stop Trump. A virus just stopped Biden. You've got the nominees of this party getting their butts kissed. Biden's getting his butt kicked by his own party. The Democrats are coming apart. The Republicans are coming together. That's what's happening. And at some point, this party has to look at the reality of that. He's absolutely right. Well, right. it seems Nancy Pelosi is looking at the reality of that. It's being reported this morning that she had a private conversation with <clears throat> President Biden to say the polls are indicating that you cannot beat Trump. Uh, yeah, there's no doubt about it. And Chuck Schumer is also uh, did not deny that they had a similar conversation uh, with Akeem Jeffries weighing in. Now there's 21 Democrats who said that he should be some, uh, somebody else should be uh, the nominee. Adam Schiff, without Nancy Pelosi's blessing, would never have said what he said yesterday. And that is, if if Joe Biden is the nominee, uh, we're going to lose the House and Senate. He fears the House and Senate yeah. uh, as well as that. So something's got to be done. And he is defiant. I mean, Joe Biden's <laughs> actually doing his job. Yeah. He's doing what, what you know George Bush does and John Kerry tried to do. And you know, they, he's doing two or, two or three events a day. He's doing interviews regularly. I assume somebody's running the country, even though he doesn't know his, the name of the Secretary Hunter. of Defense. Hunter, Hunter's back right. at the White House. Uh, he did not know this, his name of the Secretary Some of Defense. Some black man. Yeah, and a black and a black person he put on the Supreme Court. <laughs> it's crazy. And he, he thinks the he head, and he thinks the head That's of the his Secret Service is a man. Right. So, right. But he's actually trying to keep up this pace. And he's making regular mistakes, and then he is uh, got COVID. Well, that's what Don Jr. said last night. Who, if you vote for Biden, who are you voting for? Who's running right. this country? But it's who not, do they want it's to not run? Joe Biden. But Ainsley, who do you think they want to run against? Well, there are also. I think they want to run against Joe Biden. I think they'd Biden. rather run against Joe Biden. A hundred percent. They they've been building the infrastructure to run against Joe Biden for a couple but, of years. But put but, Kamala in a debate with JD Vance. Right, and, 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 and it's they will see. Well, the 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 Harris Biden campaign or Biden Harris, however you want to say it at this point, because we don't know which one is going to be at the top of the ticket. Um, they're making it seem as if J.D. Vance is afraid of Kamala Harris. Now, you guys may That's remember... Funny. He's a lawyer. <laughs> He's a lawyer. He graduated from A few months from ago, Kamala Harris, former communications director, said the one person that they're afraid most of is J.D. Vance to debate Kamala right. Harris. Right. right. Oh, so who here's said what, that? The Democrats the said last, that? Her, right, her right. last communications Here's, here's what Brian Hughes just said, the Trump campaign senior advisor, uh, on response to what, why don't you commit to a date to debate. He said... We don't know who the Democratic nominee for vice president is going to be, we don't. so we can't lock That's in right. a date before the convention. To right. do so would be unfair to Gavin Newsom, <laughs> J.B. Pritzker, Gre uh, Gretchen right. Whitmer, or whoever Kamala Harris picks as a running mate. They know so, how to put gasoline yeah, on right. fire. So as you have all these top Democrats who are now telling the president apparently to his face, Chuck Schumer went to Rehoboth last weekend and said, Mr. President, for the sake of the party, get out. And you got Hakeem Jeffries, and he said, listen, this is going to remain private, Mr. President. President until it isn't yeah, because no, now it's, it's not. not because right Jonathan and, Carl at ABC went over to Schumer's office to confirm the report right they didn't even deny the report so what CNN reported yesterday was there's no indication he is changing his mind but now he's listening to people who are saying things that he doesn't like and apparently the three things that he is considering polling he's under he's underwater Cash, according to Katzenberg, it is uh, drying up, and the state's in play. And when you look at the swing state polls, Joe Biden is being beaten by the guy who could run up those stairs compared to him, and suddenly, you know, it, it's looking a little dimmer for the Biden. So right. Reuters just did, a, just did a poll, and it's only Trump by three. Yeah. So that's what Biden's going to say. Look, what polls are you looking that's at? Right. I'm still in contention. He actually did do low. that. He, he said, Nancy, I think your information's wrong. Look at right. these polls that I have. But, right. But you cannot run for president if you don't have the people with very deep pockets digging out some cash. And right now, nobody is digging cash out for Joe. I, I think they're just waiting to see what the final ticket will be, and then I'm sure they'll 
they'll pour a lot of money behind they, it. Because they don't want Trump. they can't stand Trump. As exactly. I continue to say, uh, it, he's forgotten a lot of things, but he still knows that he's president. And he right. knows that no one can force him out. The question is, does he care about our legacy or not? But he's going to get Social Security if he retires, That's right? True. Listen, That's true. I'm going to retire on the one dollar that you are going to wind up paying right. in the next couple of weeks <laughs> yeah. over our long right, time back. About the I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilme. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.